So I, I guess that's the question we gotta ask ourselves. Is following Jesus worth more to you than, than anything else the world affords? There, there's not a single verse of scripture in the Bible that says that you can be a Christian and live any way you want to. You know that, right? So I don't, I don't want you to be deceived. And, and when you hold back 50% of your life from the Lord, he's upset about that. He wants the 50% too, the 50 that you're holding back. Even if you're at 95% devotion, let me explain something. God wants that 5% that you're holding back from him as well. Why? Because he knows that 5% will destroy you. It will absolutely ruin your life. And here's the thing about Jesus. When he calls us to be his followers, he doesn't mince any words, does he? He says things like this. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves. And they must take up their cross and they must follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for me will find it. It's a strange way to do recruiting, don't you think? You would have thought Jesus would have softened his word because he cared about numbers. He didn't care about numbers. He cared about souls. And he didn't want anybody to be deceived as to what it meant to truly follow him, to be one of his followers, to be one of his disciples. And when he says you need to die, <laughs> take up your cross, People in the first century knew exactly what he's talking about. You see, we wear, cro we wear crosses like they're some piece of jewelry. In the first century, those people had seen thousands of people be crucified on a cross. They knew exactly what Jesus was saying. You deny yourself, you take up your cross. What does that mean? You be willing to die. We wish Jesus would soften his words. He does not. Look at this passage. Those who love their life will lose it while those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And that's the real issue for every one of us, isn't it? Do we believe that Jesus is worth following? C.S. Lewis was a theologian. He once said this, the only thing Christianity cannot be is moderately important. If it's really true, then it deserves everything you've got. And if it's not true, you shouldn't be here right now. So let me ask you, are you following him? Or are you just saying you are? 